you know, you can't argue the fact that Bitcoin has been thrown in to the FTX disaster. People are lumping it in all into one conversation. Let's talk about the damage done to Bitcoin. No damage. No damage. No, the network has never been healthier. I the network has never been stronger. What damage? Says Mad Max Kaiser in the interview with Daniela Cambone. Yeah, what damage? Yeah, I don't know. No damage. Yeah. Okay. It's down a bit. It's down a bit. Yeah. You know, like the Black Knight. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> but we're, we're past the flesh wound. We're past the losing one arm flesh wound stage now. We're, we're down to having lost a leg. <laughs> we're down to our stumps. <laughs> what damage? No wonder Daniela Camboni doesn't look that pleased, eh? She's the kind of girl, Stansbury Research, she's doing that interview, who knows which side of a Bitcoin has heads and which is tails. And she's the kind of good journalist who asks hard questions. And uh, Max, well, he's just given her the old bullcrap in response, eh? But uh, fasten your seatbelts, folks, because it gets worse, much worse. Then she asked him about Tether. I get your thoughts now on uh, concerns now uh, surrounding Tether loans. Uh, could the next fiasco be Tether? No. No? No. That's it. Well, it, it's... Uh, it, <laughs> Just no. <laughs> it's the first, it's, you know, it first, it's, it's a bit of a... It, the, the stable coin market is outside, really, of Bitcoin and the... Can I say shit coin on the show? I don't want to offend anybody. Yes, go ahead. No, right, no one's... Big... Yes, indeed. Get your last of the Tootsie Footsie ice cream. Ah, yeah. Going soon. And Mad Max Kaiser insists that there's absolutely nothing wrong with any of this as she asks him about the reason why he believes this. Listen to this for shrewdness. Let's talk about the damage done to Bitcoin. No damage. No damage. No, the network has never been healthier. I... The network has never been stronger. Bitcoin, first and foremost, is a network. Network stability over price stability. And it was, Bitcoin was something that was discovered in 2008. It was dropped onto the web in 2009. It has extremely interesting properties. One of those properties is that when prices are down, it attracts a lot of critics and it attracts a lot, a, a lot of attacks, which then fuel the conviction of the people who are actually investing in the network. Investments in the Bitcoin network have never been higher. That means the security has never been higher and price will take care of itself. Yeah, that's like the uh, bank guy coming out and saying, yeah, okay, our stocks are down 90%. There's a run on the bank. We've had to limit customer withdrawals to 50 bucks a day. But the ATMs are working flawlessly, dude. People queuing up at them. Are they breaking down? No. And we have people on it in minutes, if it looks like they are. Hey, network performance over price stability. It gets even worse, folks. And, and, and I think that, um, you know, Bitcoin is a wily beast. And sometimes you, I think it just likes to drop in value to, to pull out the scammers, to pull out the Mashinskys and the Kevin O'Leary's and the Mike Novogratz. You know, the scammers out there, they get exposed and then they get wiped out and then they won't have any okay. money to buy Bitcoin. Uh, so don't worry about Bitcoin, uh, you know. Yeah, worry about well, I'll yourself. Tell you, I'll, I'll tell you, you why know, I worry. You know, I'll, Bitcoin no, I'll will still be here what my point uh, when was. all these guys are gone. <laughs> and that very same, the ATMs are working argument is being used, the very same, by Cathy Wood of the notorious ARK Investments, uh, investing in all things trendy, including Elon Musk and lots of crypto. And she says, get ready for a 30 times increase in Bitcoin. We're just getting ready to soar, baby. What we encourage our companies to do now that we are ready for prime time is to invest aggressively right now to capitalize on some of the most important investment opportunities of our lifetime, of the last, uh, really ever, really ever. Uh, we believe that the market cap associated with truly disruptive 
uh, innovation, transformative innovation, will go from $7 trillion now, less than 10% of the global equity market cap, uh, to $210 trillion in the next 8 to 10 years. Uh, that's a 30-fold increase. That's exponential growth. And um, I think the a reason a lot of people have trouble with our strategy is we've grown up in a world of linear, linear growth. Uh, and the last... The wise one has spoken. Indeed. Don't even think about it. I know it sounds outrageous. I'm asking you to put your money into this thing and it's going to deliver exponential growth and you'll make 30 times what you put in. I know that sounds like some sort of a scam. I know it, it sounds like it's some sort of an outrageous scam to just rip you off. But that's just because you're used to linear growth. Exponential growth. That's the new normal, baby. That's the new normal. Yeah, welcome everybody to the wild, wild west. It's all been a fix. It's all been a play. It's all been a game by the Wall Street boys. They knew there was a mountain of money which was going to flood out of the zero interest rate system. And one of the objectives, obviously, was to make sure that got diverted away from gold. But another was to simply act as a lure for the new game. The old gold game didn't work out because gold stubbornly refused to go to the moon as money got printed. And so the meme changed. Now we were headed for Mad Max land with the collapse of everything. Fiat is going to zero, they said. And the only way out is into something stable, like Bitcoin. Something that's a store of value. This is the new way to beat the man. And so it was sold to the alternative, wasn't it? And now it's about to be replaced by central bank digital currency. Think that's a coincidence? Or do you think that in fact the insiders knew they were going to create this fake market? Fake in the sense that they were going to destroy it when they wanted to. Because there's a couple of things that was never told to you about this. For example, it was never pointed out to you that unlike 2007, 2008, when the Federal Reserve had to step in to save the plunging market, the plunging system, fill the liquidity holes, there's nobody around to do that in Bitcoin land or crypto land. There's no backstopper. And so this house of cards can collapse all the way. So maybe the dream of this alternate domain which the central banks would not control was simply used to actually road test that very project with the kind of people you might have expected to oppose it. A scam from start to finish. With the finish now in sight. The apocalypse that's coming is not the Mad Max apocalypse. If that kind of apocalypse came, then my little digital $20 million Bitcoin stake wouldn't be much use without functioning electricity anywhere on the planet. Now, the apocalypse is a different one. The apocalypse is central bank digital currency. And what is the real threat there? Individual liberty? Well, no, it's also, and strategically, the disappearance of the very thing that fueled the middle class, the disappearance of a bank. This is now the corporations and the government injecting money into the economy. This is the new, we're in the New Deal. We're in modern monetary theory. And that's what the masses haven't figured out yet. We're in modern monetary theory and everybody still pretends we're back in the world of Keynesian economics where inflation rates and all the rest of that stuff was something they paid attention to. No. The whole game shifted. They knew this was coming and all of this has been to usher in that level of control. But don't mistake, the control aspect is only the consequential issue. The real thing that's going on here is the continuation of the trend which I can only express like this. 
What's the answer to the question when your grandkids come to you and say, what's a bank manager? And you say, oh, yes, bank manager. I remember that well. That was back when we used to have a middle class. Yes. And they used to be organised to, and they used to lend to local people and they used to build businesses and stuff. Oh, it was, it was great, yeah. That's what's coming to an end. All access to capital, gone. That's the Mad Max apocalypse. Modern monetary theory is a mechanism of top-down control, is the mechanism of the CCCP, and that's why it just merges so perfectly with digital, traceable, trackable, controllable systems. Paper-based anonymous transactions between anonymous free human beings are the heart of individual and collective liberty. Don't let them take it away. I'll be back with more soon. This is The Beautiful Truth and uh, Finton Dunn reporting. I hope you'll join me for that. And in the meantime, keep an eye on the scammers and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Okay. Finton Dunn reporting. See you soon, folks.